Is there... Yeah, so crawl underneath there. Can I crawl under there? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I should start the episode. Welcome back. I'm crawling in my skin. Oh, poor Chester. Yeah. Rest in peace, Chester. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Was that awesome? It was pretty sweet. Oh! Oh, a fairy! I have a bottle! Uh, uh. Ah, damn it. Yeah. Remember, you don't have to unequip your shield to equip oh. those items, eh? Well, how do I use both? Well, if you if you don't double tap, see, because you're you're tapping it, you're unequipping it, and then going. See? Oh, I didn't know that. All right, there we go. And then go back up there. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I want to cut this then, eh? No, you don't want to cut this. You want to type rope walk across it. Oh. So you got to balance. Oh, so hold the oh. hold it hold this straight up up. Uh. Up. And then balance, and then balance, so you can climb up with a control stick. Mm -hmm. So when you're leaning off to the side, you need to to keep yourself like you're you're okay. balancing a bottle. That's what I'm trying to do. It's more it's more about flicking. It's it's not about so jostle jostle because you're gonna get these things stuck to you mm -hmm. and you're gonna fall mm -hmm. off. What is jostle? What is a jostle? It's okay. to to shake. Okay. It's to shake. Okay, so um, mm. there. there. Okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, so it looks like there's a kickwee uh, down there. He's he's up in the tree. How the fuck am I gonna get up there? Well, you have to you have to go down there. Like it looks like that that. Uh, Coblin is uh is scaring him. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, I know how to deal with goblins. Oh, this one's got a hat on. Oh, he's got a hat. Or a bandana or something. He's got a new hat. Alright, so you wanna kill him first? Because he okay, uh well, I'm trying to Yeah, oh, fuck. Because he has a horn, and that horn he calls more. Okay. Let's That's okay. As long as he's sort of in the foreground there, you'll a lot of your swings will hit him. There you go. I got a skull. Golden skull. What is that? Oh, is that from? It's a it's a piece of it's like one of the monster pieces. So oh, okay. he, like higher the thing. King we. Wave wave. <laughs> You fought off all of those red, red guys, so does that mean that you're a good guy? See, I've got this problem. My legs have turned to jelly, and I can't get down. I think you can help me, Gui. I detect no monsters in the immediate area, and therefore conclude it is safe for the Kikwi to leave its perch. It seems that this Kikwi is unable to descend the tree. I suggest you find a way to expedite its descent. Again! <laughs> Thank you. Are you gonna offer me some kind of advice to do that? If you find yourself lacking ideas, you can always press 2 to review your available actions. So, no input on the situation at all. I think she wants you to roll into the tree. Alright. Slightly fashionable. Okay, so there's regular skulls too, right? Yeah. Okay. So are the gold skulls are those like the skulls you get so from the So actually, skulls, press two because I really want to know how to roll because I know you can roll in this game. Okay. Roll. roll. Shake, Shake the nun check while dashing. Okay. So okay. as you're you're dashing, okay. You you press A to roll. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ouch, that uh, was effective. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Thank you for saying. Uh, thank you. Thanks to you, I'm saved. I wonder if anybody's actually done a fucking kick we rap. <laughs> Where they just like beatbox the whole way through it. Really? The elder was worried about me? Well, I'm glad to hear you safe. My name is Lopsa. If you see the elder, can you please tell him where I am? Oh, Quee, my legs are still shaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I have marked the location of Lopsa, the Kikwi, on your map. However, dowsing readings indicate there are still Kikwis to search for. Yep. All right, well, let's go search I for still them. smell the foul stench of these disgusting organic creatures. All right. That was so, a joke. While I'm looking for Kikwis, why don't you tell the, finally tell the story of Captain McDonald's? Oh, Captain McDonald's. Because we got to hear about this. You've been talking about this for years. Oh, okay. Well, technically, you've been talking about it for years. And every single time you want me to tell the story, he always forgets to tell me to tell the story. So uh, it's my responsibility yeah, it's to good. tell you to tell. Yeah, it's your responsibility because this is your Let's Play channel. I have no artistic vision for this channel. I am just a, a simple commentator that is well, okay, here to tell right. a story about a man, the myth, the legend. No, I don't want to go up. So who the fuck is Captain McDonald's? Okay, so to set the stage a little <laughs> bit for, for how this uh, all plays out is... Me and a co-worker, this is back when I worked, I worked at an overnight copy center. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we worked, you know, five days a week. Uh, usually it was, uh, what was it? It was Mondays, Mondays to Saturdays, to Saturday mornings. Um, and man, it was... Oh. Damn it, he pooped on me. <laughs> it's right on your head. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> you, you, if you run and roll, it should... It should wash off, or if you go in the water, it should wash off, too. Or not. Well, it's on your head, so I okay, guess it can't so... really wash off. Yeah, there you go. No more poop. No more poop. But, um... Like, setting the stage with that, like, normally we would make our own lunches and all that type of stuff. We wouldn't, we wouldn't really go out, but we were really, really hungry one time, uh, because both of, both of us, me and my coworker, forgot to pack our lunches. So, me and her go out uh to like a drive through because we're like oh there's three of us that would work the night shift so we two of us could go on break at once as long as one person and the the stalker was was in the store right so we would head out Damn it. we so we decided to head out it. and at first we we're gonna go to denny's but when we went to denny's the denny's was closed so we're like oh shit we can't get like you know 24 hour breakfast you know it was it was really it was really sad it was very sad um, and we, uh, after that, we were like, we sort of felt like we should just go back, but, uh, she recounted, she's like, oh yeah, I think the, the McDonald's is 24 hours, uh, here. This was like really before, what are you doing? It's, it's glowing. So I figured I had to hit it. What the? Hmm. <laughs> But um, but she recounted as we were as we were going that oh yeah the, the McDonald's is twenty four hours and this was this was back before like we didn't have a lot of twenty four hour McDonald's in Ottawa mm -hmm. like before like almost every single one of them at least has a drive through twenty four hours now and we're like oh we'll totally go to this twenty four hour McDonald's said it was a little bit farther than the Denny's but it wasn't like too far that we were like gonna like miss out on our actual eating and break time right mm -hmm. so we had it we had head to it and originally we we're gonna go through the drive-thru but they had blocked off the drive-thru with a bunch of crates it was so weird like it wasn't like they had just roped it off or anything like that it was like crates and crates of like mcdonald's like milk and stuff that was just like okay. out out in mm. front so we're just like oh okay uh i guess yeah, we can't okay. so it looks like it's up there yeah Anyways, keep going, continue. Um, but, so we were like, alright, I guess we have to go inside. So, as we get in, and it's pretty busy, and this was like probably about 3 a.m. in the morning, I want to say. Uh, and it was really, really busy, and as we were walking out, as we were walking out, a gentleman, a gentleman of, uh quite a large burly stature like storm past us and, and pushed her out of the way and like he's like fuck this shit he just like immediately yelled out fuck this shit and just left and we were like looking at each other going like what the fuck like what the, what the hell's going on and then you hear like we didn't we didn't really hear it because of over a little bit more of the commotion but you could hear you could hear like one of the employees like Ye like not yelling, but sort of exclaiming something. Okay. Oh, there goes my phone. Okay. All right. Well, Just give us one sec. Give, give, give a pause on the story. 
So okay. before we go into it, this guy isn't moving. Is there something I gotta do? I He's think like I think you gotta clear the grass. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll go ahead and do that. Anyways, where did you leave off? Uh, I left off, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, I was talking about it was about three a.m. Uh, in the morning. So yeah, he's crawling. He's crawling to more grass to try and pretend that he's grass. Um, but yeah, it was about. I want to say it was about three in the three a.m. in the morning at this point, and we we had this guy. This guy yell like "fuck that shit," and he ran out. And on top of that, oh, you gotta do both, right? Yeah. You know, and we we're like, oh, okay. Okay, this is gonna be a long line. We're kind of feeling a little like, yeah. Now, now you can talk to him, but uh, we were feeling as though I guess I should do this. No, no, quick. you just keep going. We don't need to read every single one of these guys' things. Uh, okay, but um, we get in line, and there's this. I'd say I, I don't want to say like overweight, but quite rotund gentleman. Rotund? A rotund gentleman. Rotund. Uh, at the, the main counter. And he is he is wearing the normal McDonald's uh like attire. But he has his cap backwards. He is wearing a masquerade mask and has a uh, a black garbage bag tucked under his collar that makes a long flowing cape. Okay. Yeah. And for every order, like as we're getting closer, because we're really totally far away, he is he is talking in typical hero format, where he's like, "Hello, welcome. What brings you to our night establishment on our fair evening to the uh, to the place of McDonald's?" And he's talking to people like that. I don't remember. It's been so long now. I don't remember a lot of the, a lot of his like random witty commentary and dialogue. Um, but he was talking, and to a certain extent, um, like everything, you know, he's just taking people's orders. But he was being very, like I said, like a superhero. He's being cap. We called him Captain McDonald's by the end of it. But when we we got um we got when he got to our order we both just ordered like i think i ordered a big mac and and um my co-worker she ordered she ordered nuggets most likely piece of heart. hey look at piece of heart oh oh boy you got to do that bouncing act okay. though so put away but um we get to him and he's talking to us all in riddles and everything like that it's like ah yes the mighty number six, and he went on on like a long, a long spiel about how the nuggets were, um, were, were killed, killed just, justly for my consumption and all that type of stuff. And we're like, oh, okay. And like everybody in the establishment, even his coworkers were like, what the fuck? is going on here but just, he just decided that day he that, that day that he was going <gasps> a he, beetle yeah can i get unfortunately it? you don't have a bug net oh. yeah you need to get a bug net so remember remember that beetle but um yeah i guess that this was the day that he felt like going into work as a superhero okay. um but the story like like i said it's it, it itself like him dressed up as a superhero isn't like that crazy thing that happened it was just sort of like all right so i'm set i've set the stage about what about to happen so remember that gentleman that ran out yeah uh that said fuck this shit and he left so from what we had gathered after sort of being and hearing some of the conversation about the other patrons is like he didn't pretty much take kindly to the fact that this guy was like i guess not taking his mcdonald's job seriously um and acting this way so he came back in he came back in um oh gosh i want to say about 10 minutes after we had gotten our like our like we had just about ordered stuff and okay, yeah and he came in with his shirt off and like i said he was a burly dude so like he looked like a super jacked dude 
like without a shirt. Like he had a shirt on that I remember he had a shirt on before. Let me let me just say though, look at this guy's sick leaf mohawk. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so this guy comes back. So he comes, Mr. Supervillain. Yeah. So, the, so this is why we call him the supervillain because yeah, he comes back with his shirt off and he starts yelling at this guy. He's like, "You wanna go? You wanna go?" You want to go, you block, and he starts yelling about how they blocked off the the uh, the drive through and all that yeah. type of stuff. And Captain McDonald's is like, citizen, and he's talking to him all fucking bravado and stuff. He's like, citizen, this is the not the, it's not the way to conduct yourself in a place of business. Oh, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. You know, and they, they're, so they're starting to yell back and forth at each other, and the guy, uh, the guy reaches, this big burly guy, he reaches over the counter, and he tries to grab the cash register, mm -hmm. but those, I, I, I don't know if this is at all McDonald's, but at least this one was bolted to... You know, like the actual some, kiosk. Some of them are, some yeah. of them aren't. I did briefly work at McDonald's for a little bit. It was a job I just did as a stopgap. Yeah. Really, not really a ton to talk about with it, but, uh, but yeah, it depends on the store. It depends um, on the store, because this, at least, all I know is this one was bolted. This yeah. one was bolted, and he was reaching around, and he was trying, I guess, at this point, this guy was so enraged by by this guy's demeanor, I guess, <laughs> Captain McDonald's demeanor, that he had lost all sense of his natural, his, <laughs> his natural human senses and decency. But he was trying desperately to rip this thing off, and then Captain McDonald's was like, yo, all right, well, not yo, he was like, uh, citizen, please. Citizen, please. Those are bolted down. You have not the strength to to lift this object. And this just caused this guy to, like, go at it more and start shaking. And then Captain McDonald's actually said to him, was like, Sir, you, you seem to be enraged. We would, we would enjoy if you would leave the store. And then he starts yelling, Make me, make me, make me, make me. And he's going all over. And at this point, like, we're all waiting for our orders. And all the staff are... They're, they're trying to calm the situation and talking to us and pointing us in the right direction to sort of stay away. Yeah. And I have, like I said, this this Captain McDonald's guy, like he had a masquerade mask on and and this cape, but he was he was rotund. He was like this regular this like regular Joe employee of McDonald's. Yeah. And like not I'm not I'm not I'm not saying anything about it, but it's just yeah. like you have this this guy pretending to be a superhero guy muscle muscle man. Going at it, and then he's like, "Captain Sir's always like, all right, we shall take this outside, uh, you know." And he actually he got up and he followed, he followed this guy, and then he's like, "I am a gentleman, so you shall go first. Uh, and so he lets this big burly guy out the out the door, and then he closes the door and locks locks the door with him on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes back and he's like, "Today the day has been saved yet again by Captain McDonald's." Did he actually say that? Yeah, he came out and he and he yelled and exclaimed it to us, and he finger gunned all of us. <laughs> it was it was magical. So this guy realizing that he had tricked him and mm -hmm. put him outside. Started banging on the windows and everything. He's awesome. like, and now Captain McDonald's will do what every citizen should do in this circumstance: call the police. <laughs> 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 so he did he get on the phone and be like, "Hello, <laughs> yeah, hello, fellow, uh, fellow uh, uh, crime stoppers." Crime no, stoppers? I, I, I wish, I wish he did, but he he kept he kept the the exclamation sort of on the down low when he was talking with the police. And then, like, five minutes later, because, like, uh, the place where I worked, we had a, a relatively high police presence because, and not, not because there was any crime or anything, it's just, it was a bus stop that worked mm. 24 hours, so they always kept sort of a constant vigil just in case anything yeah. bad happened. So, it took about five minutes and the cops came. Mm. But, like, no one could go out outside because we were sort of locked in with this, like, raving fucking lunatic. Yeah. Just, like, and he would disappear and then reappear, like, you know, like in horror movies where he, like, because, like, most of the McDonald's is windows, right? Yeah. So he would go around back and then come up, and if you got near the windows, he'd, like, slam up against them. So could you guys not leave the McDonald's because that guy was no, there? No, no. So we ended up eating our McDonald's there, and they gave us all, Captain McDonald's is so great, by the way, he gave us all free meals. 
Um, <laughs> you know, like Captain McDonald's is is such a wonderful job. So the police come, mm-hmm. and like this guy's yelling, and they like lock me out, and he's like losing his shit to the police, and they tell him like he needs to calm down and everything. You gotta come with us, and then like they motion they motion to open the open the store. And the first person to greet this officer is Captain McDonald, standing there in hero pose, by the way. And, like, his costume isn't, like, amazing. Like, it's not like he, he really dressed up for this. He used a garbage bag for a cape. You know, and has this masquerade <gasps> mask. Shot. Yeah, there you go. Wonderful. You gotta get up on top of that guy. Come on, creep! No need to be, be shy! shy. <laughs> Climb on my ass! <laughs> I got the slingshot. Yeah, but uh, so the police, the police comes in and he's talking. and He's like, "Oh, it's like, can I get your get your name?" He's like, "I'm Captain McDonald's." He called himself Captain McDonald's. This isn't like I made up this name. Like he was calling himself that. Yeah. And he's like, "Ah, good, good, fair gentleman of police." Yeah, he came into this establishment and required required chicken nuggets, but we had to cook them. He only had to wait five minutes. But five minutes was too much. It was too much. That's not what you want chicken nuggets. Right? <laughs> no, it's not Riot. I <laughs> to want pay tribute nuggets. to Captain McDonald's. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess there's probably a little bit of yeah. of it in there, but at the same time, it's sort of like I just like fucking nuggets. But let's not get off track here. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Making me think about nuggets again. But um, so they they have a conversation, and then all the police sort of take our statements and everything, and they they cart. They they cart this this guy off, and he's he's still yelling. Like he, I don't think I've ever heard someone yell for so long. Mm-hmm. Like this took almost half an hour to get all completely Jesus. resolved, you know. Because we were originally going to go to Denny, so we had already been out for a little while, mm-hmm. right? And so, what did you get? Did you guys like text your boss and be like, "So we're trapped yeah. in the McDonald's"? Yeah. So like our supervisor, our, our night shift supervisor. Uh, we were texting, saying we're like stuck in McDonald's because because uh, a gentleman is 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 furious. There's an altercation. <laughs> There's a gentleman that's furious in here, and but the, and, but it's okay. Captain McDonald's well, I, is here. I, I, I remember writing Captain McDonald's in the text, and my my supervisor was like, "Why do you keep saying Captain McDonald's? Like, what's going on? Is this like what are you making this shit up? Like, what's going on?" But no, eventually it all gets resolved, and. And we we decide to go back to our copy center, you know. And it's like, oh, you know, it was, it was such a great, nice experience, you know. Like we just had this random this random employee in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. decided to be Captain McDonald's and save the day. Now, the story would end there. On an, I guess on a normal not me well, situation. To be honest, I think we're gonna have to save part two. Part two for next time on Power Plays. Cause it's fucking gross. That's a fucking gross. He's so it's as if you would. Have, on me. <laughs> it's as if you have a device in which you could actually kill them now. Yeah. All right. So. All right, yeah, we'll come back to this. Is there a way to... Yeah, there we go. We'll come back to this next time, guys. Gotcha. We're already over time, so... Cool beans.